next we have to drive the electric potential due to uniformly charged sphere and it is the solid sphere on the volume of which charge is distributed uniformly suppose this is a uniformly charged solid sphere this has a radius r and q is the charge distributed over its volume uniformly for this uniformly charged solid sphere the potential at the point which is laying outside the sphere that is r is greater than capital r potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught total charge q which can be supposed to be concentrated at the center and distance of the point from the center that is small r similarly for a point which is at the surface that is r equal to capital r v will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by capital r third case is when r equal to, r is less than the capital r that means point is laying inside the sphere suppose this is the point where this charge is laying this point is laying say point p and its distance from the center is small r then we have to find the potential at p we know that the for solid sphere e equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square for r greater than capital r it is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by capital r square if r equal to capital r and it is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r by r cube if r is less than capital r which we have derived using the gauss law we take the potential difference vp minus vs and using the relation between the potential difference and the field that is equal to this is the modulus integral e dot dr here e is along the radial direction and r dr is also along the radial direction therefore angle between them is 0 degree and we have to integrate from point p which is at a distance r to point s which is at a distance capital r and because vp is greater than vs the potential at p will be greater than vs as in the direction of electric field point p is on the left side and vs on the right side so vp will be greater than vs and this is the direction of electric field therefore substituting the value of e we will get r to capital r this is the limit and e is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r by r cube into dr into cos 0 degree cos 0 is 1 therefore taking comma constant terms out of integral this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by capital r cube only remaining term is r to capital r these are the limit and then r dr and cos 0 is 1 integrating we will get q by r cube and this is r square by 2 limit from r to capital r so it will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by this 2 in the bracket will be taken out from it and it will be 2 r cube and remaining is putting upper limit first this is r square minus small r square therefore vp that is potential at the point inside the sphere this vp will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 2 r cube into r square minus small r square plus and this is the vs and vs we have already calculated that it will be this is the vs this is the potential at the surface we can write it is vs so vs will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by capital r and now simplifying it common term is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 2 r cube we are taking out then remaining is r square minus small r square and on the from this side if we takes 2r cube common then the remaining term is 2r square so it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by 2r cube into 3r square minus small r square this is the potential at a point p now we take the point at the center say o so potential at the center will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 
to our cube and for the center we will put r equal to 0 so it will be simply 3 r square therefore the potential at the center will be 3 by 2 of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r therefore at the center potential will be 1.5 times of the potential at the surface now we can draw this potential on the graph that is the vr graph v is, v is taken on the y axis and r is taken on the x axis origin will be at the center of the sphere and there is a point of interest that is the r which is the surface of the sphere and there are the two points on the potential axis one is representing vs that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r another is at the center this is vo this value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r multiplied by 3 by 2 so these two points are the one point is laying a on the graph another point is the b for b r is capital r and potential is vs and now we check the shape of the graph for r less than capital R that means point laying inside the sphere we have found that the value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by 2 r cube into 3 r square minus r square this is actually parabola this is a parabola graph and coefficient of x square that means r square is minus that means it is a downward opening graph if coefficient of x y r square is minus it is downward opening or if, if the coefficient of r square is positive then it will be upward opening so here graph is downward opening that means from point a to b the graph is parabolic and it is downward opening then after r greater than capital r that means point laying outside the sphere the graph will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r here v is proportional to 1 by r and this graph is hyperbola so graph will be like this so this is the graph of the potential versus distance for a uniformly charged solid sphere